Welcome to another property tour. I'm Artur Loginov, the CEO of Dromelia and a real estate agent for 13 years. And now that formalities are over, let's tour this house. This house is immaculately presented, which makes it even more exciting to show. It's completed to the last detail, absolutely brand new, recently finished, furnished completely and just launched on the market. I mean, the level of finishings and qualities is absolutely perfect and there's absolutely nothing missing. So you can really move in into this home immediately. The plot is 3000 square meters. The house is 1,600 square meters built inside, but 2,300 square meters all around if you count all the terraces and also the huge solarium that we have upstairs with that infinity pool overlooking the sea views that we have from every single garden level. The house has nine bedrooms which are comfortably split in the house being four bedrooms upstairs on the first floor for the family. We've got three guest bedrooms on the ground floor with their own private areas which is fantastic to have in a house like this and two bedrooms in the basement also for guests or staff depending on how you use your home. One of the things that I most appreciated from this home apart from the finishings were the fact of this all different areas that we have both at the back at the front on the side the solarium upstairs so that everyone can sort of split around and it really feels like a proper mansion that is located in Cascada de Camohan, our one of the best gated communities with 24 hour security. There's always a limited amount of homes here for sale, especially with series like this. And if you follow our channel, you probably know that we've sold all the best listings of Cascada de Camohan and Sierra Blanca almost. Let's not exaggerate. And coming back to the house, as you can see, it's a beautiful home that we have listed for 17 million euros. Let's get into details. The main entrance to the home is on the east side of the property, whilst the whole home looks to the south, which is an interesting detail that we see in the layout later on. Back outside here, we have three parking spaces, four cars, when you maneuver to drive in and walk into your home, but also, of course, the car, whilst it drives into the property, has a direct access immediate to the garage, which is extremely simple. And from there, you can go into the house as well. The facade is nicely characterized by the use of travertine marble all around and lots of wooden details combined with the white design and lots of glass, of course, because we are now sunny, Marbella with 320 sunny days at least. Coming in, the magnitude of the hallway impresses. The double height, the amount of space. I mean, if the developer was looking here for a wow effect, definitely reached it. We have the same marble travertine over the staircase, which brings the outside design inside. The double staircase upstairs is beautifully done. Further greenery, I love that, always bring in the outside inside feeling and the great ceiling design with further windows all around the hallway, bringing so much natural light inside. The moment we, were, we step in, there's already so much to intake in this home because we've got some beautiful olive trees up there that I can see. There's a really long distance view to the back garden through the sitting area, which then has a further sitting area outside and the bedroom sections at the back. But it's nicely that you have this huge openness. And at the same time, looking out to the living room, we have the beautiful sea view, lots of pine trees around, which also characterizes Cascada de Camohan. And slightly and gently coming in, we have the kitchen on my right. But first of all, is the really impressive and extremely big but proportionate to the property living room that has this gorgeous double-sided glass chimney on both sides cladded with further marble that separates the dining room from the living room. The same repeated ceiling details which I love from the moment I saw it in the entrance hall of the property. The furniture pack is presented stunningly. I mean, everything looks gorgeous and is really done to the last detail, which is the little thing I most appreciate. Surround system all around. The ceiling height is impressive. All the furniture is great big size, which is fantastic. And we, of course, have full domotic system all around. I actually have to say that I'm extremely impressed with the architecture and layout solutions because the plot itself, that I knew back before it was sold, actually, um, it was always had quite a tricky uh, situation to it due to being slightly narrow and long. But what I'm seeing here, how the architecture is done is I'm amazed what they have done and how this whole project is looking absolutely fantastically done. And the size and proportions of this room, which basically is the facade of the house, looking from outside, you basically have this massive living room and the two bedrooms upstairs, the master and another bedroom next to it, which we'll see in a moment. But, and really 
thinking about it, the house feels like has four facades. None of them is like the main one. They are so different and they are so cool and, and, and nicely done, which makes it extremely entertaining to show. We have a big covered floating porch, which again is so important in the sun. Lots of space as well for the furniture. All around there's a kitchenette corner over there. So practical, so handy. I actually see a lot of details that are done in the house that make it really thought through for someone that lives it, not just to buy. As you can see, the access from the entrance, living room, terrace, garden, pool, it's all on one level, completely flat, no steps were needed whatsoever. There was, of course, a lift in the house as well that communicates all the floors because we have a big basement, we have the main ground floor, this beautiful facade, of course, where I'm seeing the first floor with the two bedrooms, one of them being the master, the right one. And then on top of this, we have the huge solarium with the infinity pool, and the view just gets better and better every time we go up a floor. And the lift, of course, connects all the floor together. Nonetheless, this is not the end of the plot. When we come over here, and we have a, also a stunning, gorgeous garden view downstairs, where we have a layered garden all around. Further carport area for guests as well. And we can see the access road, which is the bottom road, which has extremely low density of traffic and is extremely far away from the property as well, which is very important. As part of the architecture of the whole property, we have this wonderful infinity pool with the black tiles, which heat up the water slightly. And there's a real feel of a difference of a few degrees in the winter time or summertime. Then the access to the pool is obviously very intelligently done because it's from the side, from the center. So it goes with the whole architecture, but at the same time, it's away from the main swimming range. So you can go back and forth if you like swimming. This part of the garden feels extremely private, which is always a fantastic additional point. And another interesting fact just about general market is that just standing here, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains in the area. They are far enough not to hear the construction at all. So it's not a bothering point, but it's more like a point in terms of how much booming is the real estate market at the moment and how much construction is happening in general and investment is bringing to the city, which is fantastic. As we are running out of stock a little bit, and that's as well another reason why this new listing to the market is so important. And I hope you enjoy this video at all. Coming back for this wonderful porch with so many different sitting areas, I'm going to take you right into the kitchen. Both outside and inside, we have the 1 meter 20 tiles, lots of fitted wardrobes as well with lots of LED lights. We have the strategically positioned corner little windows all around for light. And on this side is the big formal dining room area. Fantastic proportion. The beautiful chimney sets an impressive vibe to this atmosphere. Everything is connected all around as you can see whilst we are going through the home. We have this glass pocket doors that open up and close for privacy and smoothly we connect everything with the kitchen. Further windows all around, big, massive, chunky island with the sea view the moment you are cooking. You can close and open all the doors as well for privacy. You can tell that this kitchen pretty much has it all. I love the dark colors, the combination of the black tiles both here and on this side together with the whole picturesque window. Big wine fridge with two further fridges on each side. An extra ceiling height was gained above the island. The extractor position in the island comes up, comes down so that it does not interfere with anything. And generally a state of the art, beautifully designed kitchen for that I believe anybody would love. Following along over here, we will carry on walking from the other side of the hallway, like a more informal corridor rather than the former one, which connects us to the guest toilet. We have the possibility to access the outside if we wish to. There's a second kitchen here at the back, so you can see how this corridor can flow in the property once you're cooking here. Take it to the beautiful kitchen, to the guests and so on. The lift that I spoke about is right over here. Again, strategically positioned with the entrance hall. And we have bedroom number one, very spacious, beautifully designed. As you can see, there's enough space for a nice table, gorgeous wallpaper, ensuite, every single room with windows. And then we have a direct access to the outside private terrace for this bedroom and another two bedrooms as well. So that they basically share this corner outside here with their own chimney, nice little cozy corner for the three guest bedrooms at the back of the house, doesn't interfere with the front of the house, fantastically done. And then we can see how the first floor is completely floating above us, giving us protection to this cozy sitting area that then can be accessed directly from the hallway. Remember when I, we entered the home, I was talking about this view that I had directly from here to the pine trees and the whole La Concha 
mountain and an extremely beautiful view that we actually have from here and that is makes it also so special because we've got the beautiful view of the sea and then the beautiful La Concha forest view at the back so much different things going on in the same property then we have two more bedrooms en suite, similar design and spaces to the first one that I showed you. Also beautifully staged and all of them accessing this garden area and this combined sitting area. And on top of all of this, the plot carries on out over here and you have your own putting green, which is so special for so many people that play golf because you can see also the view from here that we have of the whole Kamohan urbanization. So there's quite a lot of houses all around here because as well, we are so close. We are five minutes to the city. But as I mentioned previously, when we are at the pool side, we had the complete privacy. Out here, we see the whole community and all of them see that we have a putting green, which all of you don't have as well. <laughs> Beautiful view of the back facade. We can see how the first floor again overhangs from this side of the view but we can also see some interesting details on the first floor being the gym above at the back of the first floor which is the part that floats above the sitting area there's further back terraces as well which we'll see in a moment landscape is absolutely beautiful i mean the olive trees surrounding are here as fantastic it really sets a, an extremely relaxing genuine beautiful vibe I am honestly impressed with the architecture. I still remember when the house was being built and we had all the 3D renderings from the developer, which were extremely well done, but seeing the renders is not the same as seeing the house in person. Well, actually same like seeing the house over video presentation is not the same as seeing the property in person. So if you are interested in a home like this, give us a ring, it'll be a pleasure to show. Coming back through the terrace, we have this little extra sitting area for the bedrooms as well. And let's have a look at the first floor. So an extremely simple layout of the first floor, meaning that we have two bedrooms at the front, one of them being the master, two bedrooms at the back and a gym. First of all, this view by itself, I think is once again, we are seeing the same perspective from the first floor and it really is a beautiful view. I mean, from the architecture point, 10 out of 10 for this home personally, in my opinion. It is stunning, has so many wow effects spread all around because speaking of them, I'm absolutely in love with this olive tree and how it has been incorporated through the glass inside of the home being an outdoor feature completely through it we get and through this cozy reading corner we get to the gym which is this overhang that we saw from downstairs when we were walking at the putting green i think it's one of the coolest gyms that i've seen it's not big it's cozy small but so much light this olive tree is i don't know does the thing for me and it really feels like here I would come and train every single day with a personal trainer that motivates me a bit to do so. We have one bedroom over that side with its own terrace and bathroom ensuite and one bedroom on this side being slightly bigger. It has a bigger bathroom with a bathtub in the middle overlooking the La Concha view. We've got the double vanity, big shower and toilet corner by itself with a lot of marble throughout Basically the same design is repeated through the property and the rest of the bathrooms. And going back, we have the wardrobe section finished in white, same like the door carpentry and the bedroom itself with its own private big terrace, again, overlooking the back of the concha views. And through this passerella, we get to the other side where the other two bedrooms are. The glass fixtures on both sides, floor to ceiling are impressive. Same as impressive as is the walk-in door entrance floor to ceiling and such a cool lamp as well hanging. Even though I feel like going to the master bedroom, before that we're going to check out this bedroom, which literally you could say is the master bedroom number two. As you can see, it's extremely spacious. We have a sitting area, an own back terrace, then the connection to the common with the other master bedroom, big, massive terrace outside, which we'll check in a second. Lots of wallpaper as well, creates a great cozy feeling. And then we have this open plan concept with natural wood on the floor that brings the bathroom together with the bedroom, big shower, stunning bathtub, of course, everything connected with the terrace and a big, spacious enough walking closet on both sides, his and hers, for example, with the makeup table. But pretty much, as you can see, every single detail is thought through. And now I'm going to take the pleasure to going outside, lots of space to sit, lots of space to enjoy. The view is getting even better. Privacy is here. I mean, what else? What else do you want? As you can see, the marble features are still repeated all around the 
architecture facade of the house. We have a bit of open plan space over here with the light coming in directly into the bathroom where we were and separating slightly the two ambiences of one bedroom with the ambience of the master bedroom, which is a spectacle. One of the first details I love immediately is that they put an outdoor shower in that corner. I mean, little details, but it is hot. You're enjoying yourself on the terrace. You get a bit of water, it makes your time spending even greater with little details like this. And here is the master bedroom. The bedroom is kind of positioned in the middle of the room. Having incorporated the ceiling details to underline that the bed is positioned here and this is the bed side of the room, it's actually very intelligent to create this cozy feeling because imagine now the bedroom is split into two areas and on the other side we have like a chaise long reading, relaxed moment with a decorative chimney. But imagine if this was not made, the bedroom would look much, much bigger it would, might be even better for our videos, but in reality, when you live in the house and you spend time in this bedroom, you're always as well looking for more cozy features, not the vast sizes all the time. So it's great that the architect's thinking about all of this and creating this cozy feeling for the future buyer. Makeup area table over there. And on this side, we have the bathroom, which is pretty much repeating the other bathroom that we saw previously in the other bedroom. This is why I as well said that the previous bedroom could potentially be like a second master due to its size. We have the showers over there, toilets, and a much, much bigger walking closet that is split on both sides with a window. And in this house, no matter where you look, doesn't matter, any window brings a beautiful view to the room, which is spectacular. And as Pierre just said, wow. <laughs> no, but it really is a great space. I mean, look at it. It's huge at the same time, not too big. We've got a proper big kitchen over here, full barbecue equipped, stunning view, 360 degrees. I mean, doesn't get really much better than this. Lots of pergolas as well that you can further cover if you want. We've got that sitting area and then the infinity swimming pool your laying area, your sitting area, the same tiles, same concept as downstairs. I love the game of the wood as well in the corner, making the space. And what a beautiful view, right? What a really wow. And I mean, La Concha, how beautiful La Concha mountain is one of a kind. You don't get a better view of mountain than that. So, I mean, extremely impressive, I think. Yeah, I'm really enjoying showing you this house and seeing it myself as well, now that it's completely finished. Well, any questions? <laughs> Let's have a look at the basement. The basement starts with a small lobby over here where we have the gorgeous wine cellar prepared as a first reference point. And most of the basement area has actually a very open plan space concept to it, which is not so typical normally the spa areas, the living room areas, they are more uh, sectioned rather than open and all together, especially from the bedrooms uh, behind as well. But here, this concept is actually extremely interesting because it gives us two different opportunities of how to use this basement space. And an owner of such homes uh, through around the year can also use the home differently depending on the stuff that's going on in his life. So for example, if this area was to be for a guest, like you have an important guest coming to your house, yes? You have two bedrooms at the back, en suite with windows, that then this space is converted into the living room with a kitchen for the bedroom, together with their own private spa for the important guest. I mean, who would not love staying here as a guest? Imagine. And another note, in another moment, the owner is in the house and then he has staff. So you have the two bedrooms for staff, which you can section off easily and then this space becomes the second living room and the private spa of the owner of the family and playing like this around you can really maximize how you can use the home which is great of course windows all around for natural ventilation and now let's have a look at the spa a little bit more into detail it's 
not too big but personally the moment i walk in here i actually prefer it like this i'm a little bit tired of the huge indoor spa areas with massive pools that cost a lot of money and therefore also bring the price value of the house up whilst i think that really you want to spend time outside all the time so having this kind of more cozy spa just to do the job is perfect you have a hammam we have a sauna dip pool showers nice area to lie down enjoy natural ventilation as well of course and i think it's extremely practical and gets the point done but then you want to be out there you don't want to be here too long right through the hallway we see the main entrance staircase to the upstairs the two bedrooms mentioned are one on each side they are completely ensuite there's also a big laundry next to the lift and smoothly through more storage space over here we get to the garage i mean the size is pretty impressive this garage is minimum for however much cars you want depending how you put them but that's a minimum 10 and we are counting many many more cars if you wish it's very cool sectioned in terms of we have this like the exposition garage and then more space as well but i mean simple details like that a bit of led lights a bit of color a few classic cars set a really nice ambience to the space beautifully done and as well the best part of this garage i mean the extreme easiness in terms of maneuver i'm speaking about the car how it drives in how the door opens and i mean you've got plenty of space to move around nicely so no scratching of cars expected in this garage and then coming out we basically come to the beginning to the main entrance of the property where it all starts with the car driving in through this passerella into the garage or further along to the main entrance with all the floating elements and so many details incorporated all together that still match perfectly and remember this is the first thing that the client sees when they drive in or walk in further beautiful olive trees the infinity pool becomes another water feature bringing more details to the entrance so that when the person walks in all of this beauty is the first thing that he sees i mean it's an impressive home i'm really happy i showed it to you it's priced 17 million euros we are here to help in any careers you may have and if you missed it last week i also launched another property tool with also an extremely modern home but so different to this one you can check it out on this link if you haven't seen it thank you for watching